All right, work so here. hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another unboxing with Naturally Lash. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. You guys already know when you see this guy over here that it's going to be a candy time. <laughs> time to a eat some goodies. Universal Yums unboxing. We have the incredible noob over here. We have Mr. Incredible. We'll have all his information down below. Make sure you guys check him out on YouTube, on Facebook for all the gaming goodies and all that good stuff. But we're not going to waste you guys time. We're going to go ahead and get into it. We'll now, you know, candy going down the results. Yes. <clears throat> so, Universal Yums is a subscription box. Um, it's $25 a month for the Yum Yum box. Um, size and then they have a smaller one and a larger one but I don't know those because this is where we kind of hang out right here but I'll have all that information down below so make sure you guys are checking that out so we're going to go ahead and get into it yeah they changed with the box office now boom all right hey right. so we're going to make a quick cut and we're going to show y'all some of what the the guess was from last month clue to the next month's box next stop the home of wizards, castles, ornate, a hedge, milky tea, and a very famous cake. Hmm. That's not all. This kingdom is full of great yums, savory puddings, buttery biscuits, and lots of other fun. A cake. Hmm. Is it a England? England? No. Does that count as like a I'm going to say England. I'm going to say somewhere in Europe. And if some of you people guess right, you know, well, comment down below what you thought it was thought in the last was. video. We'll put the link in the description as well. Right. And if you were right, you know, good for you. But anyway, I don't know what I thought it was. What did I think it was? You? <laughs> I don't know. I was like some European kingdom. I don't yeah, know. you said I don't European know. something. I don't know. And I said England, but we have it right here. We have the welcome to the UK box. So we are ready to get into it. To try some goodies from the UK. Are you excited? I'm excited. I was actually really, really excited. Oh, I see a munchkin. I see a munchkin. Also, okay. we're gonna actually rate these things. We're gonna try this time. to actually get them rated this time. Oh, we have an invader. I don't know where she's popping up All right, at. Come there on. she is. We're gonna keep it moving. Right, All right along. So. He's gonna, as always, read through them, and I usually sit over here and I try it all out and let you guys know what I think about it. So. All right. So today's, you know, categories because we always we always mess it up with rating these things, but they got best yum, runner up, worst yum, most unusual. I don't know how we are rating them, but I think you can put them. I think you can put this one in conjunction with these. I don't know. Come most on. unusual. Yeah. What do you mean? Cause that says never again. Um, what? Not everybody. Not everyone can. I think be it's first. just like when you get one, you like. I like it. Don't, I like, don't it. like it. Yeah. yeah. That was weird. It, yeah, it just becomes weird. All right. Well, let's get into it. For our first goodie, we got Rich Cat Sea Salt and Cider Vinegar. Ooh, that sounds amazing, you guys. Yes. Is it sea salt cider and vinegar or sea salt? Sea salt and cider vinegar. Mama, is it good for kids? Oh. You want to try some? Yeah, you can try some, baby. Okay. Fish and chips, as the UK's most famous what dish, is that? it will be What's improper that? to that? visit. We'll do that cut that out. We'll do that you got to wait till I get finished reading. All right. Fish and chips, as the UK's most famous dish, it will be yes. improper to visit without trying it. But one? it's the national dish. You'll find it out in the trivia answers. There are over 8,500 fish and chips shops across the UK, all specializing in the tasty combo. Traditionally, the dish is prepared by taking fresh white fish, coating it in a light batter, then frying it and placing it in high atop thick cut fries. I just all want right. to say, we, we went over this last time. We, we're not about to be reading two and three paragraphs. Well, I think I know the basis behind, you know, the you goodies that we that. that's, that's why our videos be like forever long. Because you're talking right now. Let me do this. Let me do that. No, these right. are really good though. Like, if you they, like they salt taste, and vinegar they chips. Taste, tastes like salt and vinegar chips. It tastes like a less salty salt and vinegar with a better quality potato chip. No, I taste a lot of salt. I don't. More vinegar though. 
I get more vinegar, but the potato chip tastes more more potatoy. All right, so mm -hmm. one thing. I think at the end we re rate them because we only get four things to rate. You only gotta rate four then. Yeah, you're gonna have your best yum, your runner up, your worst yum, and your most unusual. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna go through. That ain't, that ain't getting up there too high because um, I mean I tasted it before. Yeah, so I'm this this is probably not even gonna make my. All right, so our next goodie, which I think I'm gonna like, is Dean's of Huntley mm. Shortbread Chocolate good. Chip Butter Shortbread. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Nice. All right, prepare that yourself. Sounds yummy. These shortbread cookies are about as short as it gets. And we're not just talking about their cute mini shape. You see, when it comes to baked goods, the word short means crumbly, oh, which is a texture that can only be achieved with large amounts of fat. You gotta stop going back there. All right. So, she talking about they look cute. I'm just, I'm just here for the taste. I don't really care how things look. They're cookies. You gonna try one? Are they chocolate chip? Here yeah, they are. Try some. So it's a chocolate chip shortbread cookie. And mm. so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. It's a shortbread cookie with chocolate chips. Mm. Hmm. Not bad. Yeah. Thank you. I really liked it. Mm. This is already toward the top. I, I like shortbread, so yeah. Just add chocolate chip to it. I yeah, I'm just chocolate chip. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, moving on. Alright, Walker's Not Such Dreamy Creamy. Whatever that means. English toffee bars. Toffee. Alright. Sit up straight, brush off your clothes, and put on your best smile because we will now introduce you to the okay, Queen of England. Or at least the Queen's favorite toffee. Maybe by one of England's most renowned toffee companies, Walker's Nine Sucks. What does toffee mean? This I famous buttery treat dates all the way back to the 1800s. So we got a treat, man, that's older than some of these countries out there. I can't get it open. And she can't get it open. <laughs> Even though there's a slip. Is it? No, there is not. Nah, See? Alright, we're back. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I think it's Can a little melted a little bit. Because I think it was supposed to be like little squares that you can break off. Oh. You see it? Makes sense, makes sense. That, my friends, is hard. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if you don't like stuff stuck in your teeth, uh, I will uh, highly suggest you stay away nope. from this. Okay, I'm just going to get this little piece because uh, I'm about to be chewing this forever. Mm-hmm. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to um take a little piece, bite off of this. Cause it's I, good, though. I ain't no way I'm going to. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. It's definitely good, though. Not in here. I got children on the table. <laughs> She's so. under the table. Mm. It's good, though. Yeah. Yeah. If Chewy. you have a loose tooth that you want to get pulled out, that's gonna get it for you. Go ahead and put that in your mouth. Chew a couple of times. Mm. Problem solved. Mm. Mm. Should I have some background music going? Mm. Mm. No. Comment if y'all want some background. Music, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If we're too quiet or too loud. Or I don't it think is. it gets loud because here, here's we're something beside mm -hmm. people smacking. But anyway, moving on to the next delicious treat: Johnny's pickle. Onion rings, pickled Ooh. onion corn snap. You gonna find weird, peanuts. But I think I'm gonna like it. You gonna find peanuts at bars in the UK. Their pub tables are adorned oh. with something different: pickled onions, small pearl onions soaked onion. in salt, sugar, and vinegar. Have it's, long been in British pub yeah. tradition. I love like the like the onion onion ring, and that's what it smells like, but with a slightly pickled. So it looks like this. It's an onion ring. Oh yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's real good. That tastes better than regular, like funyunis. Yeah, it's like good. that. It's like a good. a pickled funyun. All right. It's like if you took the salt and vinegar mm -hmm. and married it with like the funyun. Man, no, that's good. This is good. I don't know. I think I might have my hey, best yum so far. I know. <laughs> we I know why they have it at pubs and stuff. Cause that, um, that salt. Yes. That salt is amazing. Yes. That salt is amazing. That vinegar. So far, I have my best. I have my best one so far. Put it down. <laughs> We're not here to eat the snack. Taste the snack. I'm eating. This. All right, next snack. 
<laughs> All right, Maggie's haggis and black pepper chips. Mm. Spiced potato chips contains no meat. What's haggis? I don't know. If you ask any Scotsman what is haggis, you know, I have heard of it. He'll most likely chuckle and reply with a small wild animal with two legs shorter than the others. So it can run around the mountains without falling over. Mm. Never heard of a wild haggis? That means you haven't fallen for the trick. Describing haggis this way is something Scotsmen like to do to American tourists. And guess what? We're American. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm... Good trick. Well played. So are they going to tell us what the haggis is? It's a trick, man. Nobody knows what the haggis is. Whatever. I think... All right, so that's the chip. Ooh, it's a nice hey, thick chip. And it works because according to a 2003 survey, one-third of American tourists actually thought haggis was a wild animal. I know it. It's a pudding made from some sheep innards. <laughs> what is haggis, really? <laughs> National? No. And she says she don't want me to read the whole thing, but the answers to her questions falls right in the narrative. But anyway, let me tell you. That description thing. sounds bad. Like, haggis is a pudding, and it's made with, like, the sheep heart and liver and stuff. <laughs> I probably wouldn't eat that, but this is good. It tastes like a. Mm. They're no. chips or they're crisps. I think I like these better than potato chips. I like the texture of them. No. Haggis sound like something a character from Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. That's what that sound like. Hagrid. I like that. That's what it sound like. It sound like Hagrid. I wouldn't just go for these, but. Put them down. Maybe marry, maybe chip. marry that with these salt and vinegar ones. Uh -uh. You think? Eat no. One. Why you eat multiple chips? It's the same one. Mm. Are you Next treat. Wagon wheels, Jamie. What the? Oh. That's nice. <laughs> it's a food. chocolate covered marshmallow cookie with raspberry jam. Ooh. When you eat one of these cookies, you're joining 350,000 other people who will eat them. A jammy. A shark ate me. Let's do this. <laughs> A jammy. Ooh, it looks good. That's, so that's what it looks like. Chocolate cover marshmallow. Let's break oh. it in half. Ooh. Oh, she pops up for this one, huh? Mm -hmm. Give her some. And that's the inside. Here you go. Hmm. Here, baby. Hmm. Are you going to give her a piece of that one? Okay. I wouldn't recommend eating this right after those haggis chips, though. Which we just did. But, yeah. Um, but, um. That's not bad. Yeah. You know what it tastes like? The, the taste has a peppermint patty feel to it, or it tastes, I don't know. Peppermint patty? Mm-hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Peppermint patty? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or contact bar, whatever. What's the thing that Scooter get? Those are peppermint patty. This that's not peppermint at all. No. Listen, what I said. Okay? Um, clearly, the munchkin did not like it. Probably don't have enough sweet and sugary taste for her liking. Mm -hmm. Next snack. Cause we got a lot of stuff to go over. You sitting here chewing on that go stuff ahead. forever, forever. You know, Bristons of Devon rhubarb and custard bonbons. Mm, That's Stop a me. long title for Stop something me. to be eating. I'm pretty sure they call it custard bonbons. All right. Mm. Rhubarb in the U.S. We only hear about this vegetable when it's baked into a strawberry and rhubarb pie. Rhubarb. Yeah, rhubarb. Okay, rhubarb. All right. In the U.K., the long pink. Celery light stalks are everywhere, bringing a unique flavor to sweet and savory dishes alike. All right. Ooh, it smells. I thought it was like gummy candy at first. It was say they're chewy, right? All right, that's what they look like. You know, those okay. small things. Are these? Like the sour cream and cheddar ruffle, hmm. with like the texture of a Pringle. Yeah. I really can't really judge chips because I don't. Normally, I don't really eat chips. He don't, he, and you don't taste stuff. You just eat. I tasted it. When you put it in your mouth and eat it, you taste it. But, uh, it don't, it don't stick out to me. It's not going to be on the top list. Yeah, me. no. Mm -hmm. It tastes too familiar for me to be like, ooh, yeah. Too, fa too familiar to stuff I don't eat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or taste. Mm -hmm. All right. Toughy Pops. Toughy okay. Pops. All right, chocolate covered cookies with toffee. All right, before you even think about tearing into these cookies, you need to get up, walk into your kitchen, and turn on the tea kettle. You see, in the UK, these famous biscuits are almost exclusively enjoyed with a cup of freshly brewed tea. Can I get some iced coffee? Hmm, it's 
a coffee or something. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Look at those. She pops up for like the cookies and sweet, cookies stuff. And sweet stuff. If you guys can like see her, I, I can't move the camera, but there, oh, there she is. She only pops up for like cookies and stuff. So that's kind of what it looks like. You want one? You get a word cookie and she's about, what are those? <laughs> she just pops up. Mm, not bad. It's not bad. Is it like the shortbread? Mm, not really. Mm. Mm. What's those cookies? Girl Scout cookies? No, not the Girl Scout cookies. I forgot. Them. They taste a little the butter, the butter something. They call it butter something cookies. Butter cookies? I don't know, man. Whatever. I'll figure it like out. Like the Lorna Dunes? I don't know what a Lorna Dune is, but. Um, yeah, I'm convinced this stuff is just not sweet enough for my daughter. Like, she, <laughs> this is the bite she took, y'all. Look, you see that? That is the bite she took off of there. Which clearly means she was like, ain't enough sugar. Which clearly means our goodies are gonna last this yeah, time cause and nobody is gonna because they're actually the good, but destroy them. They're just not like sugar heavy, so we don't have to worry about her All right. them. Our next one is Walker's non such. Off the background. What is this word? I don't even know. Treacle toffee. Are we in the yum bag already? Yeah, chewy toffees with treacle. Treacle. Whatever treacle is. We ask for coffee, we get toffee. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right. They might look like your ordinary candies, but there's much more to these yums than meets the eye. The English toffee is packed with treacle, a sweet golden liquid similar to molasses that's supposedly created as a result of the sugar refinement process. I don't really like mm. molasses, though. Molasses. You move slow as molasses. You eat as slow as molasses. Time to take a little small and That's bite. what it looks like. We, we probably could have shared one cause the same way with those. Mm -hmm. You want to share? Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to go dance in the look. It's like toffee candy. Can I would rather just eat this plain toffee over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I know All right. Caramel and onions. Let's move on mm -hmm. to Cur Royal Chews. Or Royale Chews. Cur Royale Chews. Black currant mm. and champagne flavored candies. Mm. Contains no alcohol, which is such that a shame. Sense. Yeah? Mm hmm. Well, the red ones, they mm. like red and white? Yeah, it's red and white. See? All right. Cheers. Cheers. This cheers. colorful candy is made to taste like Cur Royale, a French cocktail containing champagne and black currant. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Mm -hmm. The core. Why does it belong in the UK box, you ask? Because of the quintessential sour? British ingredient. Is it sour, mommy? Black corn. Black corn? Black corn? No, mommy, I don't. Why can't I find it? I uh -huh. Black corn. Black current. Corn. <laughs> I'm fancy out here. Corn. Listen. You took fancy all the way up. Hard ass. All right. This is our base. All right. Okay. I'm fancy. Let me alone. All right. Ooh, it's as good as it smells. It's good. I'm not even gonna lie. Mm -hmm. They don't last very long, cause uh, I put it in my mouth and I can instantly swallow it. Mm. But yes, that is good. If you can keep it in your mouth, the taste is very good. This is my runner up. That's that's good. The oh, runner up. up. That's good. What are you talking about? These fermented pickled onion ring chips. <laughs> I can't wait to get back to them. I'm not even lying. I'll give him the scooter because he loves pickles. All right, moving on. Stockley's chocolate limes. I don't even know if I like the sound of that. A chocolate lime? But anyway, chocolate with limes. No wonder the United States wanted independence from Britain. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chocolate with limes. Chocolate with limes. Who thinks of such a thing? It might sound odd, but this sweet and zingy mm. combination is an English candy classic. Mm. Let's try it out. Mm. Not bad. I taste the lime first. Yeah. Because it's a hard candy, so you gotta eat it for a while to get to the chocolate. Mm. Not bad at all. I feel like lime candies, and that's pretty much mostly what you get is the lime. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, the chocolate is so, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can see, it's, it's like pretty Maybe much in the closer. center. Let's get it closer. Yeah, do you see it? Yeah. All right. Prosecco. Prosecco. Ooh. Fudge. Ooh, sparkling yeah. wine flavor fudge. Sparkling wine flavor fudge. Wait a minute. Mm -mm. Why does it look a little different than that? Is it supposed to be like that? Mm, probably just a different wrapper. Is that the last one on there? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess. It looks like we got caramels instead. These look like caramels. I don't think we got those. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Yeah, I think we might have something caramel because that might. I don't know. Maybe something got mixed up and we got something that was supposed to be like in the Super Yum box. Mm. Instead of. Because we got these. And this clearly looks like a caramel. It looks like a different wrapper. Yeah, this is a caramel. Aww, one of those. Yeah. But anyway, this is how it reads. There are a few things that oh. everyone knows about Prosecco. It's sweet, it's bubbly, and it's undeniably Italian. Eee. Why is it in the UK box? Mm -hmm. Alright? Or is it? While the Italian wine is company Carpagna Mavolti. I'm fancy. I'm fancy now. Mm. Carpine. 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 Mavolti has laid claim to inventing sparkling Prosecco in 1868. Many in the UK have other ideas. Yeah. Candy. And now we're going to eat these caramels <laughs> that we have. Right. Which are really good. Alright, so... Let's do some rating. For my winner. Wait, hold on. Where's where's our marker? So, for my winner. For his winner. I'm ding, going ding, ding. to go with the god dang on pickle onion ring. Make I'm that too. Go, that, that's I'm gonna have to go with the pickled onion ring. The flavor was on point with that one. I'm just gonna have to say. Oh no! Wait. Oh, I no. think. All right. What is your runner? One hundred points. Daddy runner gets 100 up. points. Your runner up. I got my runner up. My toffee runner. cookies. My yeah. toffee cookies. The toffee cookies Daddy, is runner points. up. Toffee cookies is my runner up. Toffee cookies. I like I like that taste. Oh. My runner up is this black caron, as he calls <laughs> it. Caron. <laughs> Hold on. Candy. <laughs> it's it, Mama. It's back in there. So, yeah. I gave you a what was your worst yum? Daddy. Hey, Daddy. I'm hey, riding Daddy. with this treacle toffee as being the worst thing in here. I, I could not get over the taste of whatever the treacle is. Um, I can't do it. I cannot. I'm going to say... I cannot. What is this thing? The chocolate lime? The chocolate lime? I'm not, I'm not going to say it, it didn't taste bad. Nothing in here tasted yeah, bad. Yeah, nothing was really bad, but Daddy, in a rating. It was just... I gave you 100. What is the most Daddy, Daddy. unusual... The most unusual will be this thingy. Yeah. Wagon wheels to me. Hey, Daddy, that was the most unusual. The jammy. The jammy. The jammy. The jammy. The jammy. That, was, that was unusual. I. Daddy, I just gave you 100 points. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the. You You went with the jammy. I went with the jammy. And I'm going to go with the haggis chips as being my most unusual. It's not unusual to be up by anyone. All right, Daddy. that has okay. it for Daddy. all of you okay. know, our so, goodies. All the goodies. Unfortunately, so, we couldn't do the Prosecco. Mama. I want to read. I want to read the thing this time. You guys know at the end of the video, we normally give off the riddle and we give you guys the clue to what's going to be in next month's box. He normally reads it, but I feel like I want to read it this time. I want because you read everything else. I want to read. Let me be. All right. Are you ready to get your thinking cap on? All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, boys so and girls, chosen of all ages. You ready? Next month, we're putting on smiles and hopping on boats to a place filled with temples and markets that float. Mm. There'll be lemongrass soup and hot spicy curry. So stand by your mailbox and say, Mailman, please hurry. India? I'm going to go with, I've seen this like on the travel channels, they have like the floating That's markets 200 and points. stuff. It's somewhere in that area. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to um, say India. Not India. 
Uh, uh, thinking of like an island place. Thailand? No, not Thailand. I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere uh, in Asia. It's on the Asian continent. I'm gonna put it that way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a ballpark. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you the exact. I'm, I'm seat. gonna go with Thailand, but I promise I've seen the floating markets on like the Travel Channel. Mm. So there's a lot of floating markets around the world. So I whatever. Don't, I don't really know. I'm gonna I say. Like I'm these. gonna say <laughs> it's in somewhere in the Pacific Ocean around the Asian continent. That's what, we, that's what I'm going with. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. All right. All right. That does it. That's it. So. No more yeah. Hey, bonus clip. I just read on here. You guys wanna wanna hear some of UK's strangest phrases? No. I'm sure we are going to hear it anyway. Let's do this. Okay. Try to guess. Try to guess what this means. Have a butcher's. Have a have a drink. Take a look. Mm. That that's when that's. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. Say they hey, look. <laughs> ready? It's brass monkeys out. Brass monkeys <laughs> out? What does that mean? It's hot outside? It's cold and miserable outside. Oh, the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> You've made a dog's dinner of that. A mess of it? Yeah, you <laughs> made a complete mess. Good one. Okay. Here's a few sandwiches. Oh, no, sorry. Beep. He's a few sandwiches short of a picnic. He's big. He lacks common sense. They'll bite your arm off. Is that it? That was it? Yeah, that, that's, oh. that's the oh, last one. I thought there was one. more. <laughs> They'll uh, bite your arm hey, off. Stop it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't don't know. you dare bite me. Don't you They'll dare bite me. They'll be excited. Don't you dare bite me. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Boom. That's it, you guys. That's everything that's in the box. Thanks for sticking around for the bonus clip. Uh, and putting up with this monster child over here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how we it. Ah. But, yeah, if you guys try this box, go ahead. Drop down below what you guys' favorite yums were, what you guys thought about the video. <laughs> Any questions, comments, put them down there. We'll if you also get you a yum box subscription, let us know what your favorite was, like she just said. Because clearly if you don't have a subscription box, you can't tell us what your favorite yum is. Unless you live in the UK and you know what these yums are. And if you like my fancy, please let me know. His Quran. My Quran. His Daddy, Quran. after that, can we get in the pool? <laughs> okay, bye. But wait, there's more. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>